Welcome to part 2 of the dopamine series on how we can increase dopamine levels quickly. Let's jump in right away and continue where we left off in part 1. Now these tips will be a bit more unusual than the ones we talked about in part 1. But that does not mean that they are less effective. In fact it may just be the other way around. These tips can be extremely powerful. I will start with the least effective one and as we go along they will become more and more powerful. So make sure you stay with me all the way to the end. Ok, number 5. Drink green tea. A study from the University of San Francisco found that the polyphenols in green tea can boost dopamine levels in the brain. And not only that, it seems to do so mostly in the area where it's needed. This is great because, well, if we use the engine and car analogy again, this would be like putting oil exactly where it's needed instead of just opening the hood and throwing oil all over the engine. Number 6. Set micro goals. Every day you should make a short to-do list with a few items on that list. Now it should be small things that are pretty easy to do. But of course they should be things that are good for you. Or things that will bring you just a little bit closer to your bigger goals in life. Now here's the deal. Every single time you cross one item off your to-do list. It will give you a little surge of dopamine. This means that if you use this in a creative way. You can use your list as a productivity hack. And since dopamine increase motivation, each little surge of dopamine will be a springboard to your next task. There's really no end to what you can do with this with just a little smart planning. And I recommend that you always make your to-do list in the evening when planning for the next day. Number 7. Velvet beans. This is an interesting plant, let me tell you. This plant is also known as Mucuna purians, and it does increase dopamine levels pretty quickly. Velvet beans contains high levels of something called L-dopa. And so now you say, okay, great, but what's that then? <laughs> well, L-dopa is an amino acid, and it's a precursor to noradrenaline and dopamine. One study made on people with Parkinson's disease found that eating 250 grams of cooked velvet beans significantly raised dopamine levels as fast as 1 to 2 hours after the meal. Now they conducted the study on people with Parkinson's because they wanted to see if it would reduce their Parkinson's symptoms. But it does indeed increase dopamine in people without Parkinson's as well. By the way, velvet beans did reduce their symptoms. Moving on. Number 8. The Wim Hof method. And now I'm not talking about the whole method here, while that's great too, but I am talking about his breathing exercise followed by the cold shower that he recommends. Listen, I've talked about this before. Cold showers alone are phenomenal for instantly increasing your dopamine levels. But if you first do the breathing method, it will be even more powerful. And I really think they enhance each other. Now don't do the exercise while you are driving or while you are in water. As one can become quite dizzy when doing the breathing exercise. So lie down on your back while you are doing this. Okay, so here's how to do it. First, without forcing anything, inhale as much air as you can and then right away you exhale. But you only exhale about 75% of your air. And then you inhale again, filling your lungs completely and again exhale. You keep going like this for about 30 breaths, always inhaling fully but not exhaling fully. After 30 breaths like this, then you empty your lungs completely and with empty lungs you hold your breath as long as you can. When you feel that you need to breathe, you then take in as much air as you can and now you hold your breath with full lungs, but this time for only about 15 seconds. This completes one round and you should do about 3 to 4 rounds like this. And after you have done the breathing exercise, you immediately go take a cold shower. And when you get out of that shower, oh man, you will feel so good. And your dopamine levels are now significantly elevated and you will be a productivity beast.
I have personally been taking cold showers for a long time, but I just recently added this breathing exercise prior to the showers and it really skyrockets the effects. And oh, here's a bonus tip for you. I have made a review on a product I have been using for quite some time now that actually increased both dopamine and testosterone at the same time. Did you know that dopamine and testosterone cooperate with each other? Yes, that's right. Higher dopamine levels will also boost your testosterone. And high testosterone levels can help increase your dopamine receptors, making your whole dopamine system function optimally. By the way, the product contains a lot of ingredients and one of them is well wet beans that I talked about in the previous tip. Anyway, this is one of my absolute favorite natural products so far. And it works so well, so <laughs> well that's why I sound all excited in the video review. If this is something that sounds interesting to you, you can find that video on the screen right here. Just click on that right now and you'll see exactly what I mean. Alright, this is Scandinavia and Bob signing out for today. Consider subscribing for more helpful videos. And remember, if you're going through hell, keep going.